Can you? And now we're in the kitchen. Maybe it's like your home kitchen. Have you heard about this book? It's called America's Most Wanted Recipes, and this is the book where you can find the recipes to some of your favorite, favorite re uh, restaurants that you go to probably maybe once a week with your family, maybe even every day. So whether it's chicken or baby back ribs or wings or whatever the case is, you can find those amazing recipes right here. Now we want to kind of jump in and we're joined this morning by the author of the book. He actually started out as a website, America's Most Wanted Recipes. His name is Ron Douglas. Great to have you this morning. Oh, it's great to be back on the show, Tamara. Yeah, because you were on once before and these were so popular. We brought it in for our Ages and Cooks event because a lot of times we go out to the restaurants and we all get those very famous... Um, you know, appetizers and meals that we all love, right. but there are those times where we wish we could make it at home. Exactly. Yeah. And this cookbook allows you to do that. Yeah. I mean, just the other day, you know, we're having our kitchen remodeled and it's really expensive. And my kids, they love the Olive Garden. Yeah. So they were, um, you know, we wanted to go to the restaurant, but it was, things are kind of tight right now. Uh -huh. So I said, you know what? We can make the breadsticks <laughs> at home. Right. We can make Olive Garden lasagna right at home. We yeah. can make the, the salad dressing right at home. And we did. And the kids just loved it. And so it makes such a difference when you don't have to go out. You don't have to stand in the lines. You don't have to pay the gratuity and pay for all of that when you can just make it at home. And the best part is that you can make as much as you want to whenever you want to, which is great. I want to let you know we brought this back in after nearly selling out the first time we were on due to popular demand and we but at this point we only have about 1500 of these books to go around I think they would make a great gift for somebody who does like to go out but would rather cook at home so let me ask you like how did you choose the recipes that you put in this book oh these are really the recipes that everyone loves from your favorite restaurants throughout the country yeah I mean by popular demand through special requests you know me and my team has taken us years to try to reverse engineer these recipes from home Okay. And now you can enjoy them in your own home and make whenever you like. So that's how you did it? Like, how did you really come up with the recipes? Because I know it was you and a team of people. Right. Me and a team of people and also our community on um, our website. Mm -hmm. We have over 215,000 subscribers to our weekly newsletter. They oh all gosh. chip in. Uh -huh. And, you know, sometimes you could actually go to the restaurant. And, you know, my wife has food allergies. She really does have allergies. So yeah. <laughs> I would say, you know, we need to know all the ingredients in this particular dish. Right. Because, you know, she has food allergies. <laughs> So, oh, you know, a good. lot of times they would tell us what the uh, ingredients were. Uh-huh. And they That's would. That's one way. Yeah. That's one way. And then, and then also, sort of from trial and error, then, you could get really close to the original. Right, right. Just yeah. a lot of trial and error, a lot yeah. of testing, a lot yeah. of feedback from different people. And it was really a collective effort. I can't take all the credit myself. Uh, tell me, what's your favorite recipe in this book? Uh, the Cheesecake Factory Oreo Cheesecake oh, is one of my favorites. We love that. And we have some of the other dishes here. This is my version of uh, KFC original chicken, which yeah. is always a hit. This was like a big media buzz because the KFC rec um, recipe was such a secret. Yeah, it is and a I secret. think we really cracked the code on this one. So they you can keep get it, it under lock and key. Yeah, yeah. This guy, if you taste it, it tastes just like the original. Oh so you can gosh. get it right here in this book, America's Most Wanted right Recipes. Right here in this book, and then tell right. me what we've got here. And you have the uh, Chili's baby back ribs. Oh. They're really known for those. Those ribs are so delicious that's in the, the restaurant. One, that's the one they make the commercials about. Right, right. And now you can make them at home on demand, whatever oh. you want. And then right here, I recognize these. These are the Friday's potato skins. Oh, my. Yeah. We and had those for the World Series uh -huh. just recently. You know, I'm from New York. I'm a Yankees fan, so we were what, you know, eating Yankees. these, and everyone loved them. <laughs> you know what? The thing is, too, with these, these can cost... You know, they can cost so much in the restaurants, but when you can make it at home, you can make it the way you want it, and you can make it for so much less. Let me tell you, you can see that uh, we're approaching 250 of these ordered and hundreds of you calling in. Get this as a gift for yourself. Get it as a family gift for maybe a sister or a brother in your life who you know would love this. And just so that you know, these are the easiest to follow recipes. It, they're so easily written, so you don't have to be a top chef in order to be able to make these. Some of them the ingredients are maybe four or five or six ingredients, depending on what it is. I made those butter, these um, buttermilk biscuits. Mm. Ah, oh, they were amazing. Yeah, and there were only six ingredients. You would never know. Okay, what do we have right here? These are uh, Hooters buffalo wings. <laughs> The best so, buffalo wings on the market. So you know what? For the ladies, get these just so that you don't have to go to the restaurant. Yeah, you make those on uh, Sunday for the football game. Okay. The guys will love you for it. And you, the guys will love you for it. <laughs> and you'll be happy that they can stay at home and eat them. Also, okay, then we've got this Asian chicken salad. Right, Panera Bread's version of Asian chicken salad. <sighs> 
Wow. It took and us then, a while to figure out the right ingredients. It has a little really? sesame in it. Right. Yeah. But then you go back time and again just to make sure that you've got it right. Right, right. Okay. Then we would publish the recipes on our website, and people would provide feedback and say it needs more of this, less of that, and then we would create the perfect yeah. recipe from the collective effort. That is cool. You yeah. know what I love about this book, too, and I get hundreds of you calling in, is that you can't go wrong because you already know what it's supposed to taste like. Right. Like, have you ever gotten, have you ever tried to follow a recipe and you weren't sure if you did it right because you're like, is it supposed to taste like this? But with the, with the wings or with the potato um, skins or even with the uh, baby back ribs, you already know what it's supposed to taste like, so you know it's going to come out good at the end. And then we've got something here. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is the Applebee's Fiesta Lime Chicken. Yeah. Yeah, my whole family loves this dish. <laughs> Sometimes do you ever go to the restaurant just to get that? Like yeah, that's the only well, reason you go. Exactly. I mean, you can't really recreate the restaurant experience at home, but right. you can save money by making the restaurant dishes at home. So yeah. I'm not saying to replace going to the, re the restaurant, but right. sometimes you can just make it at home and it tastes just like the original. But there's, you know, there's some restaurant experiences that we won't, don't want to recreate, right. like waiting in line. Because sometimes, let's say like on a Friday, you know, usually you go out on Friday nights and by the time you're done with the work week and you just want to go and sit down and eat and you have to wait for 35 or 40 minutes or something, for a table. We, want, we don't want to recreate that, and at home you don't have to. What about the bill at the end? You know, it's one thing if it's just for you, but if you're taking like a family of five, that can get really expensive. But when you can eat by, you know, with the same recipes at home with your favorites, you cannot go wrong. You'll see that we've got a holiday price of $12.95, and there are over 250 pages in here. How many, do you know how many recipes total? There are over 200 recipes from 50 seven different restaurants oh in the book. Oh my God. It took, so, it took us years to really put this together and now it's available for you. And you know what? I was looking through here and again, hundreds of you calling in. Thank you so much for this. We're down to about 900 left, but there are hundreds of you on the phone. You've got to get it this morning before it's gone. Ron, I don't, I don't know if you had any other shows scheduled for the day, but I don't think this is going to make it. <laughs> Just to let you know. But you know what? I was flipping through here and you heard Ron say he's from New York. I'm from Los Angeles. There are places, there are restaurants here that you can only find in the South. Right. There are restaurants here that are um, uh, mainstays up north. So with all of those different restaurants, you're definitely going to find the recipe that you loved or that you remembered right. from that time when you went out. Maybe it was on a first date. Maybe it was, you know, when you were out with your friends and it was that really, that really great time. That you're going to find that recipe in here. And everything from, I think there's breakfast in here, lunch, dinner, you've got desserts. Desserts, soups. Yeah. Soups, okay. salads, we already right. saw that, appetizers. So there's everything. Do stay on the phone. Please use express ordering if you can. You can see that we're approaching 900 ordered. We've got about another 500 of you calling in. And a lot of you are on your uh, computer, too. <laughs> and definitely stay there. We'll definitely get to all of your calls. But if this is not the best stocking stuffer, I really don't know what is. Oh, great gift for yeah. the holidays. One of the other things is, you know, when you eat at a restaurant, for people that are health conscious, you know, yeah. they put certain ingredients you might not want to eat. Now you can make them at home and adjust yeah. the ingredients. You can use low-fat milk. You That's can use true. different oils. So if you're health conscious and you want to make it a little bit more healthy, you, you mm -hmm. have that option. Whereas in a restaurant, you can't do that. I didn't even think about that because you mentioned um, food allergies. I'm allergic to peanuts, too. Right. And sometimes when I go out, you just don't know, you know, what they put in it. But when you can make it at home, you don't have to worry. One more time, let's take us all the way through because I know we're down to our last 90 seconds. This is the Fiesta chicken. Yeah, Applebee's, Fiesta Lime chicken. Ooh, yummy. You have the Panera Bread Asian chicken salad. Wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> that looks amazing. Uh, and you have the ultimate appetizer for the football game here. <laughs> it's the Hooters Buffalo Wings. Oh, gosh. Wow, okay. They really do look good. And if you want to make your wings a little bit bigger, a little bit um, spicier, hotter, right. you can do that, too. Right. You have Friday's potato skins. Oh, my gosh. And the famous chilies, our version of the famous chilies, baby back ribs. Wow, look at that. Then wow. you have the recipe that no one thought we could ever <laughs> recreate. <laughs> was, is this is your KFC original chicken? Is this version. your star rest, the hardest one to get? Yes, that took a long time to get, but it was well worth it. You know what? You can see we're approaching 1,200 of these ordered. With everybody on the phone, we're probably down to our last probably about a hundred of these left so if you're not on the phone yet you might miss out on it and I don't want you to Ron Douglas brought this back just for our HSN cooks event and just in time for holiday gifts stocking stuffers you know if you a lot of times people um, give gifts at the office 
Right. You're not exactly sure what your office mates like and what they don't like. You know what? Everybody's going to find something in this book that you love with all of these recipes, with all of, uh, you know, all of these really great uh, restaurants that you've got. This truly is amazing. It really is. How long did it take you to put this together? Uh, we started in 2003, so really oh gosh. five or six years. Wow. And now, you know, it's a, it's a bestseller. You know, over 250,000 copies in, in print. People really love this cookbook. You know what? Stay on the phone lines for this. We are calling this sold out, but stay on the phone lines for this, and we're counting all of you in. And you're going to have your America's Most Wanted recipe cookbook. I know they let me borrow one. I had to give it back. <laughs> because this